We have new developments tonight in the bizarre and twisted story of Lori Vallow and Chad Daybell, accused in a series of family deaths and of being involved in cultish behavior. Lori Vallow is the Arizona mother accused of killing her own two kids, JJ and Tylee. They went missing shortly after she moved them from Chandler to Idaho, and their bodies were found buried at the home of Vallow's new husband, Chad Daybell. Lori Vallow is also accused of conspiring with her new husband to kill his previous wife, Tammy. But the circumstances surrounding Tammy's death have always been a mystery until now. There's new information on her death out tonight. Kim Powell's been covering the story for us all along. Kim, this was anything but an easy process for investigators here. Right. Tammy died in her sleep in October 2019, and her kids told police they didn't want an autopsy done, and she was buried in her hometown in Utah. Then, two months later, her body had to be exhumed. Now, the five Daybell children told CBS News they were told she died of asphyxia, but they're still not convinced their dad had anything to do with it. On October 9th, Tammy Daybell posted this on Facebook, saying a guy in a ski mask tried to shoot at her in her driveway outside of Rexburg, Idaho. Ten days later, she died in her sleep and was buried without an autopsy. And two weeks after that, her husband of nearly 30 years, Chad Daybell, married Lori Vallow. Eventually, investigators revealed they believed Alex Cox, Lori's brother, was that masked gunman at the end of Tammy's driveway. And Lori and Chad were also accused of killing Lori's kids, J.J. and Tylee. Chad was charged with first-degree murder of Tammy and also for insurance fraud after maxing out her life insurance policy shortly before she died. Tammy's body was exhumed in December 2019, but investigators have kept tight-lipped on their discoveries. However, the five adult Daybell children are speaking exclusively with CBS. They told me that she'd been asphyxiated. It's, <clears throat> it's hard to process, but I just still can't believe that he would do such a thing. It's completely unthinkable. My dad loved my mom very, very much, and she loved him. The Daybells told CBS that Chad woke up frantic that morning when he discovered Tammy was dead. They said it was their decision, not Chad's, to bypass the autopsy. They claimed the 49-year-old was in, quote, failing health. She would get out of breath very quickly and would get very tired, and she started going to bed very early at night. According to newspapers in Idaho, Chad told Tammy's father that she went to bed with a terrible cough. Respiratory diseases are associated with you know, asphyxia. Sleep apnea is associated with asphyxia. So, you know, if you have sleep apnea, many people stop breathing for a little while. Dr. Frank Lavecchio, a medical toxicologist, says that asphyxia is a general term that usually means there's a lack of oxygen. He says it can be caused by something you ingest or inhale, including opiates, or from choking. And sometimes um, you try to look and see if there was any uh, choking signs by dissecting the neck. And you look to see if the trachea was compressed or not. There's sometimes blood vessels that break open. And, you know, it depends on the circumstances. And Dr. Lavecchio says investigators can still get a lot of information from an exhumed body. Tammy's autopsy and toxicology reports have not been publicly released, so this is just one tiny piece of the puzzle when it comes to Tammy's death. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.